To underscore this tactical persona even further, Yamaha introduced these models to a mix of both off-road and firearms-related media at one of the U.S.'s premier firearms training facilities, Gunsight, in Paulden, Arizona. I think there's two questions that really need to be answered before this media introduction setup can actually make any sense. First, just what is a tactical grizzly in Viking? And second, who does Yamaha think is going to be buying these things in the first place? I, I honestly think the, the Special Edition Viking and Grizzlies should appeal to anybody. They're, it's really it's really for everybody. I think it's awesome. I think it's cool. They've done a really good job. Again, research, getting back to what colors people like, what graphic schemes they want. You know, this is this is several years in the process for us. This isn't something we came up last week. And we don't do something just for one consumer. I mean, you gotta have broad appeal. You gotta appeal to the masses and make sure that someone goes in and says, that thing looks really cool, whether or not it has the word tactical on it. And he's even, he, may, he may never shot a gun in his life, and that doesn't matter. As long as he likes that vehicle, he likes the accessories we've you know, included with it as a special edition model, um, so much the better. So we, we wanna appeal to the masses for sure with all of our products. Um, but we also want to give them something special every, every once in a while. And the Special Edition Viking and Grizzly and the Tactical Black Color Scheme really does deliver on those times. So it's pretty clear the tactical nature of the Grizzly and Viking SE models is limited strictly to their appearance. Now to a purist, this...